Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, March 30th, and this is your Keeping Connected video, and my name is Pastor Carrie. Um, it is Holy Week, which, as you know, is like the Super Bowl of the church world, meaning we have different services, we are trying to engage people in different ways, we are super busy. This year is like last year's a little bit different in that a lot of our stuff is already pre-recorded but um, over the last couple of weeks, but don't worry, there is still plenty going on, and if you want to know what's happening... Pastor Charlie talked about it in his video yesterday, and of course you can find it all on our website. But this week we are to be talking about our favorite parts of Holy Week, and for me, mine are the same every year. And it's the same actually all year long, and it's the interactive parts of worship. So what I mean by that is Palm Sunday, waving palms, shouting Hosanna, my kids and I and John did it around our front yard Sunday afternoon, and I'm sure our neighbors thought we were crazy, but our kids now have this palm parade in their head and their parents participating in that. On Thursday, we're invited to join it for a Monday Thursday service where we will be washing each other's feet or hands and then taking communion together. So the physical bread, the physical juice, um, our tactile reminders of what Jesus did for us. On Friday is Good Friday and we have sent you home or you will get one when you come to worship a nail and it's a heavy nail and you will be invited to hold that in your hand as we read scripture and remember what happened to Jesus and then of course Easter is like pomp and circumstance city right extra music lots of extra excitement people in beautiful dresses and, and hats and I hope you'll do that even if you're worshiping at home online um, all of that is the the part of my fav my favorite part of Holy Week. And what I mean is when we can have interactive participation in a worship service, it cements it in our brain and in our soul a little bit deeper than if we just passively listen to it or even actively listen to it. But when we can touch and we can smell and we can see and we can enact things, these stories, the this 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 wonderful grace that God gave us in the Holy Week gets a little bit deeper into our soul. And so that is what I'm looking forward to this Holy Week. And it is no different than every Holy Week or honestly, every Sunday. So I invite you to join us in that and to really take part in the interactive journey so that you can have a full and lasting experience with God and maybe a new way for you. We're praying for you and we look forward to seeing you almost every day this weekend. All right. Bye guys.